So Stephen, first game of the season at the sun was shining at Dixon Park. We didn't get a win, but shared the points today. What were your thoughts on the game? I think it was a very close affair. I think uh, we started a little bit nervy. First 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And after that, we grew into the game. I thought I thought we looked solid after that. I thought we were creative and and uh, we just we just grew into the game. I thought uh, our defence did well after the first 15 minutes and, 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 and we were pleased how we grew into the game. It was a really, really tight game. Um, a couple of penalty shots, obviously they were awarded one um, and they missed it, fortunate for us. Mm -hmm. um, and we could have had, a, we had a couple of shots. What were your thoughts on, on those? I could be, not to, not to be an Arsene Wenger, but it was, it was quite far away from me. But some of the, some of the boys thought that, that definitely that we should have had a handball. And, and the other one was probably considering the penalty we gave away. It wouldn't have took much for, for the referee to give a penalty. But listen, they're on their first day as well. They're probably coming to terms with the first day and, and uh, will not great too much. So if draw was probably fair as well. And you mentioned our defence today. Kevin McGuinness um, was awarded uh, Player of the Match. Mm -hmm. Really, really strong yeah. game for him. I thought both, both fullbacks did really well. I thought Ian Fletcher was was really solid in the left hand side. Two centre backs did well, as I say, after the first 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, Kevo. Kivo's energy levels are, are unbelievable. The amount of times he, he intercepted passes, the amount of times he, he won headers and tackles and, and was still able to get forward and contribute to us attacking, yeah, I'll probably go for that. He's a, he comes from a very talented family, we have to say, as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> his two sisters are very good as well. I tried to sign them all three of them, but, but the two guys decided to stay with the work. They decided to stay. Stephen, you've made quite a lot of additions to the squad um, and they've all actually had a really strong pre-season. Yeah. Uh, what were your thoughts on the players you brought in so far? I could just I just think we've we've we're still in the process of of, of getting to know each other. I think the players are, are slowly but surely, and it's not going to happen overnight. You know, we still see relationships building on the pitch and off the pitch. The guys are, are really really bonding pretty well. So it's going to take time, but I'm, I'm delighted with with the progress, even within a game to start with. So the progress within a game where we, we grew into the game is, is bodes well for the future. But you know, we we can't wait. It's a work in pro progress with so many new players. And have you got a philosophy, if you like, how you want Valley Clare Converse to play? There's a couple of things that I think I've told the boys are, are quite non negotiable. I just I want I want honest honest, hard working and, and, and passionate players. But as far as a, a philosophy is concerned, if you want to call it that. I just, I just want to win games, and if we're not winning the game, I want to go and try and win the game. So if we're one 0 down in the game, you'll probably see me trying to trying to win the game rather than see out the game and hope that we're going to get something with, with good attack, attacking options. Now, so we're we're hopeful that those attacking options can mean we can change the game or or add to our attacking options late in the game. There's lots of positives you can take from today's game. Um, have you got a message for just, the supporters? I want them to come and enjoy what coming knowing that they're gonna gonna see a team who plays with passion and uh, the work the work rates high and they're gonna go and try and win football games. So if if, if we can get them behind us and the more more the merrier then then I, I think the, the group of players we have here will will uh, galvanise them and, and get them out of their seats. And the next game is a long track, obviously to Castle Durg away away mm -hmm. to Durg View. How do you prepare for that one then? Yeah it's 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 a, it's a tough gig going to the likes of Ballin Mallard and, and and, and Dogview and, and and they've you know they've improved their squad so so Dogview will be tough. I know they had a, a rough first day today, so which is more which is all the more pleasing because first days can throw up strange results and and Dogview had a strange result against Newington, who obviously obviously are, are still on a crest of a wave. So we'll face a, a wounded animal, so to speak, down in Dogview.